Okay, I'm back. Can you believe it? I can't believe I'm literally filming right now. I haven't done a like vlog in so long. I'm like, I don't remember how to do this, so bear with me. But I'm gonna take you guys through my makeup routine because I've been getting so many comments on TikTok about my makeup and I'm like, slay. We love to hear that you guys like it. I'm gonna start off with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I have a new bottle, but I'm literally scraping the sides of this one. I wanted to take this time to update you guys on my new life because as we know, I am starting over. Cody and I moved to New York City at the beginning of November, so it's officially been two months now, which is crazy because it feels like I just got here, but also feels like I've been here for a while. It was... A relatively easy move I would say we had roadway moving move us I'm just happy to not own a house it was so funny because the first few months of or first few weeks of it living here I would hear it rain outside and I was like oh my god my basement's gonna flood but then I remembered I don't have a basement anymore anytime we have an issue with our apartment we just call someone else and it's someone else's problem but it's so liberating. I just don't think I'm meant to be a homeowner. It's crazy though, like whenever I think of all the anxiety that I experience on a day-to-day -day basis because of owning a house. Like it, it's just so much easier now for me. Like I don't, I don't stress out as much. Like when we leave, I'm not worried about my packages getting stolen. Obviously we have a doorman, so that definitely helped. This lighting is making me realize I forgot to dermaplane like certain areas, but it's fine. I used the Light Reflecting Foundation from NARS as my favorite foundation. Now I'm going to take my Painterly Paint Pot. So the first question I'll answer is, are you still wanting to find a job in New York City? So I've talked about this a little bit on Instagram and it's so weird because whenever I did, I got this message and it really bothered me. She was like, you're only talking about this because you're hoping that one of your followers will get you a job. And I'm like, no, I was actually just sharing it because I already went through an interview and everything and I didn't get it and I thought it was interesting to share. But that would be amazing. <laughs> you would do it too, but that's not what my intention was. It's so weird when people like tell you what your intentions are. I'm like, whatever. So back to this Painterly Paint Pot. I got so much MAC makeup during their Black Friday sale. And it's so nice, you know why? Because whenever I lived in Nashville, I would barely ever get to go to MAC. You know why? Because it took me, I would have to drive there and I would rarely go to the mall. But here, I, if I'm just running errands, like one day I was picking up a dress for a wedding that we were going to and there was a MAC across the street and it was just around the time that Black Friday started. This is my favorite palette of all time. I actually need to buy another one because it's so good. This is the Ethereal Eyes by Mario, makeup by Mario. Like you keep seeing people talking about it for a reason but I'm gonna do my eyebrows before I do that with this benefit thing. So I'm definitely actively applying and looking for jobs. Um, I was interviewing for a assistant for a personal shopper at Thread Styling, which would have been literally a dream. And I thought that went well, but didn't clearly because I didn't get the job. But Obviously there were more qualified applicants and everyone's like, you need to go back to school. I'm like, actually you don't need to go to school to be in fashion. I just need to figure out what, like I need to intern and all that stuff, but I just am having problems finding that. But ideally um, I would be an assistant or intern for a personal shopper, stylist, anything like that. Um, I've applied to so many positions like online stylist for net a -Porte, Essence, what other ones? Oh, there was one that I applied for for Moda Operandi and I thought that would be really good for that position. It was a social media specialist which is right up my alley for a luxury brand like hello. So basically being in charge of their TikTok and Instagram and doing their feed stuff. And I was like, this would be literally a dream job. Didn't get it, obviously. Um, but at the time, I wasn't, I was in the process of moving. So no, I, I have my vision board and it's just so full of work-related things that I feel good that whatever is meant to be will happen. Now for this palette, like I said, 
I'm going to use this shade, which you can tell I use a lot. And this one on my inner corner, and then I use this one on my um, inner outer corner. And then I blend it all with this Dallas blush, which is not sh or sold anymore, which is devastating because it's my favorite. Because eventually this is going to run out and I'm going to be the saddest person in the entire world. This is an e.l.f. brush. Um, I love it. And for some reason I always do the outer corner blending color first. Just because um, I feel like when I do the sparkles, it gets everywhere. Long story short, yes, I am still applying for jobs. I just signed up for LinkedIn Premium. So many people are asking about Caitlin moving to New York City. That's not my, like, I'm not speaking for her, so go bother her. Is living in New York City as expensive as everyone says? Um, honestly, I would say definitely, yeah, but you just have to... The thing is, is, like, it's just different. I don't know. Like, you can choose how much you're spending, you know? Groceries are obviously going to be way more expensive. I think that's the thing that's really shaken me to the core. I'm gonna use this one. But look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Um, yeah, so grocery stores, like, especially ones that are close to you, other than, like, Trader Joe's, are gonna be so expensive. That has been an adjustment. So anytime we can, we like to go to Costco, even though it's a disaster. It is hell on earth in Brooklyn. I will rent a zip car and I'll just kind of like bulk up on stuff. So I don't have to do a lot of the groceries. But I will get like produce and stuff from Trader Joe's because it's significantly cheaper than like key food or whatever it's called. Um, and then when I went to New Jersey to pick up my lights, I came across a Walmart. And I went to Walmart for like snacks and stuff it was the best thing ever so i'm going to use this color on my inner corner restaurants are expensive but you just don't have to you don't need to eat delivery delivery that's the thing people are like just get your groceries delivered i'm like that's fucking even more expensive are you insane um we don't have to pay for like cars and stuff which was like a lot of money that we were spending when we lived in nashville um like we're saving probably close to like twelve hundred dollars because we both had higher car payments, so we didn't have to pay it off, you know, um, like for a long time. Whenever we bought our cars, and we obviously sold our cars, but there's that, car insurance, and gas. So, I mean, that's $1,200 that we now have to spend. That's total, not each. So, moving on to concealer. I have Kosa's and this Nancy Doyak. Natasha Denona. What's Nancy? Oh, that's a bodysuit I have. I put this one on my inner corner. Like that. This shit's pigmented. And then I love this. This stuff is so good. Miller, honestly, has been la 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 loving New York City. He loves living in an apartment again. I can tell. Um... It does like obviously kind of suck sometimes having to take him out because before we would just have to open our front door and he would go outside because we had a gated front um which was so nice but obviously we actually have to take him out so we had to get over that laziness it has been a kind of different trying to make well i'm not even like actively trying to make friends here because i moved here knowing a lot of people but it's crazy my dms crickets galore which is fine um i met up with my friend cassie so she and i have been online friends for years and so we finally got to meet up which was fun she's exactly like she is in per or on her videos which i love when that happens because i personally feel like i am the same as well um but we closed that place now we went to lunch early december and we were sitting there for like four hours great great girl loved her um and then i've just met up with like people i already knew so like my friend lexi um my friend sean all that jazz camera's overheating okay my camera overheated and so now we're just at my vanity which honestly was probably better lighting to begin with i just don't really have the freedom to be able to like look at my messages so um another question that i got was where do we see ourselves living long term 
and I actually talked about this in my moving vlog that I never posted but I'm not gonna put forever on anything I do anymore because forever just doesn't exist because every single time I think I'm gonna do something forever I don't anyway we're gonna take this color that I was using in my outer corner and I'm going to put it underneath my eye but Cody and I really are enjoying New York um we really could see ourselves having one kid here because that all I want is one kid obviously it's expensive but to be able to raise your kid in such a magical place like this would be epic um but right now we're just really focusing on our careers like we moved here for me basic well not for me but because Cody it was actually Cody's idea to move here um but I don't know we just when are we ever going to have this opportunity so we're just riding this way for as long as possible and if we ever feel like moving we can now i'm going to take this old uh, snores palette and i really like the shimmer in it so i'm going to use this as my highlighter we're just not focusing on kids i get so many questions about kids like when are we gonna try having kids i'm like i am a child what do you mean i'm 30 years old i'm like baby it's funny though because when i was younger i was like oh for sure have a kid by 30 fuck no but yeah anyway back to the friend thing though i'm like just so fine with just being my own friend and it's weird because i'm an extrovert so when i'm around people i'm like you know i'm fine but it's just that like i'm i feel like at that age where i just don't have time for the drama like i had so much drama when i lived in nashville with girls this is the maybelline express brow that i'm like i don't and it's weird because I really thought people would be like, something went on there, but no one ever did. I'm not forcing friendships. I'm also like not actively seeking it because I don't know. I'm a very, like I'm so good at being by myself and that's fine with me. Like I enjoy it. Moving on to this blush from Laura Mercier. It's called All That Sparkles. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I just really like it. Color, because I feel like it really just like blends well. I feel like I'll make friends too if I ever do get a job because I feel like I'll do it organically that way but like it's so funny whenever I moved out to LA I was like I'm gonna be friends with all these other youtubers no one had any interest in hanging out with me none zero um except for like Jill and um Monica and Shelby and those people but like the people that I thought I was gonna be friends with when I moved out there I wasn't barely ever saw them actually just because there's always that like group that you always think you're going to be a part of and then you just aren't so reality hits you um and then when I moved to Nashville it was so funny because everyone was so nice I think I was like one of not one of the first YouTubers to ever move there obviously but like I, there weren't a lot of YouTubers it was mainly like a blogger town now it's very heavy on the YouTubers but everyone wanted to meet up with me and it was so easy to make friends there but then when i moved here i was like oh my god i know so many people everybody's gonna want to hang out with me i feel like i'm it's like moving to la again you know what i mean like just having to get over that initial shock like oh no one wants to hang out with me that's fine and there's no shade to anyone i just was like that was i i don't know what i was thinking honestly then i've got my lash curler I fucking hate curling my lashes. My lash routine literally takes the longest time. So we're gonna curl the eyelashes. Oh, um, as you can tell behind me, Cody built me my dream closet. Everyone's like, this is the biggest closet I've ever seen in New York. I'm like, honey, it's an entire room. This is not just a closet. I wish it was because that would make my rent cheaper, but this is a whole other bedroom. So over there's Cody's desk. Here's my vanity and that's my clothing storage and that's pretty much all that fits in this room, which is fine. We don't have a lot, we don't need a lot, but voluminous superstar waterproof. Using this, I put on my mascara or my lashes cause it's apparently like the tubing shit. It's kind of gross actually. When you like look at it up close and personal, it's like, I do not want to see that. <gasps> then I'm taking my mascara. This is a Lash Paradise waterproof.
Can anyone else absolutely not speak whenever they're doing their lashes? Because I, like, do not speak to me. Um, now we're gonna do it on this other eye, and I'll let you know. I'm, when I'm back! So, I tried to vlog, and then I got sick. As you can kind of hear my voice. So, I am getting over a sinus infection. But, today is the first day that I feel, like, pretty much 100. Um minus like what i sound like i sound minus blowing my nose like a lot but i had a sinus infection it wasn't fun but you guys do not care to hear about that so i'm gonna tell you guys what i've got going on today cody's out of town until later tonight so it's just a solo day and i have a lot to do so I'm gonna read you guys my to-do list because I have quite a few things I need to get done. Is I need to ship out a bag um, that one of my followers bought. I am selling one of my Bottegas, so gotta send that. Then I gotta drop off two things at Framebridge, which is in Cobble Hill, about half mile away. Um, then I got to film a TikTok. I gotta do laundry, and I need to list things on Poshmark which I'll probably do later today because Poshmark is not fun. I'm going to show you guys the things that I am getting framed. So one of the complaints, well not complaints, I asked Cody how he would rate this room because this room to me is like almost a perfect 10. I think he said like 9. It's just missing art. I need to wash the sheets um, and also clean off my nightstand. Clearly I've been sick. But I got two little rugs to hang here which I think is gonna look super cool. And then in our bathroom, as you can see, I have two masking tape things, and those are emulating what's going there, which is two giant framed things of wallpaper. Because I was gonna wallpaper this bathroom, but it's actually a lot harder than I expected, which is like when you take the masking tape like this, and you put double-sided tape on top of it, um, and then it's like renter friendly. That is fucking hard. Whoever did that, whoever has done that, um, is a saint because I do not have that patience. Here is the wrapping paper, or not wrapping paper, wallpaper that I bought whenever we originally put an offer on a 3,000 square foot house. Obviously, that's not realistic for my life anymore, so... I guess I'm just holding on to this for the right time because I love it. It's like a checker print, but it's like not. Um, but I'm going to actually cut three foot, two, three foot um, pieces of this and take it to frame bridge. But then there are the things I'm getting framed. So frame bridge does frame like three dimensional things other than just art. Uh, <laughs> So I'm getting these framed, black frame, and then like a camel linen mat. And then, yeah, this is going to be like the art. I just thought it'd be a fun way to add more texture into the space. And this matches perfectly. So, so that is what I've got going on. I will update you guys if there's anything to update you guys on. But probably not because that's life. Just dropped off packages to USPS. Now we're headed to Frame Bridge. The drainage is so real. Okay, next time I have an order at Frame Bridge, I'm gonna go in there because you can like get expert um, advice on how like the coloring and everything and seal the frames, which is really cool. So heads up if you're ever going and getting anything from Frame Bridge. Okay, I'm home now. That was about an hour of errands. Let's see how many steps I got in because that is like my new thing. I am obsessed um, since moving here, checking my health app and just getting a guesstimate on how many steps I've made. 4,902. So I was expecting a little bit higher, but it's fine. Now I'm going to eventually do my makeup. I just ate a bagel because I like to eat my lunch before I do my makeup on days that I don't do my makeup first um, because I get <laughs> cream cheese all over my face. I'm gonna do a video I think this week on like my favorite winter pieces because it's the dead of winter and um, yeah we still have till like March of wearing winter clothes. I haven't talked about clothes on here in so long. It's been house stuff for so long so 
that's to come. I put makeup on. This is an accomplishment in itself. Slay. My eyebrows are pissing me off today, so let's not comment on that. Um, I'm so happy that I put makeup on. I feel like when you put makeup on, you just feel better. I'm sorry, it's the truth. I am going to go do my laundry. I got this uh, Amazon hamper, which I actually love because it matches our bedding and stuff. But what I love about it is it's got this little, oh, but usually it has. Okay, this is a bad time to show it to you guys because it actually fell down. So it's got Velcro, so it connects to the inside of, I can't get this out. To the inside of the hamper, but I need to do laundry. I feel a lot better about myself when I've got clean clothes and stuff. I'm gonna take my laundry, do separate it into like the lights and darks and the whites, and then I'm gonna do the laundry. Cause I desperately, desperately my forehead is so big. Oh my god. But yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Honestly, something that I thought was going to be a lot bigger of a deal was moving into, like, going from having my own washer and dryer, obviously in Nashville, to just living in a unit that uh, shares it in the basement, and it's really not a big deal for me. Like, I really don't care. I don't know. And it doesn't bother Cody either. He does a lot more laundry than I do, so it's, if anyone should be bothered, it should be him, but... I do see how it's a luxury, obviously, to have it in unit, but I don't think it's something that would sway me one way or another with an apartment in the future. I don't know if we're going to stay in this apartment for another year after our lease ends. I kind of feel like we will because we actually like it. Um, we like the location and everything, but we'll see. Here is what it looks like, and you just like load up one of these cards, and you do your laundry. It's super easy. I forgot my laundry detergent. I'm just gonna leave my laundry. This is my current favorite laundry detergent. It is Regal. It's by the same people who made the Diva Wash. It's so good. Again, we're going to ignore my nightstand. I'm just so relatable for posting this on the internet. But I love these nightstands. I got them from CB2. Um, one of them came from the CB2 outlet. The other one came from actual CB2. And they're so big, and a lot of you guys were like, you need to prioritize storage when it comes to furniture. And so I did for once in my life. Also, I prioritized square footage on the top for me to put Diet Cokes on. Okay, so here you can see I keep my pajamas up here. And I actually really like it because I have this like leftover uh, storage thing that I use. And I love how big these drawers are because I can fit... My skincare, I put my skincare in here so I can do it in bed because I'm lazy like that. But I put my pajamas in this one and then this one is for underwear and bras. Um, so, do people show that on the internet? Probably not, but I am. I'm such a messy bitch. I know I need to stop apologizing for the vlog and just be like, this is what you get from me, but... I feel so bad because I sound so weird, at least in my head I do, and also my ears are so clogged, but I got a package from Revolve. This is my January Selects. Oh, it hurts my ears. I've moved on to that part of the sinus infection where it's like in your ears. It sounds so clogged. Five things. First thing are a pair of denim. Mr. Miller is watching me. I love girlfriend denim, my favorite. Um, they have like a barrel jean, which I thought was interesting. But I liked these because they looked like they were longer than the Citizen of Humanity ones I have. Um, so I picked these out. I'm excited to try them on. They are a size 28. Should fit perfectly based off of my neck. Does anyone else do that? And I also got the matching tube top for that which I thought would be cute hopefully my boobs fit I'm sure they will I am so excited about this sweater I wanted this sweater back in like October but it sold out so fast and I got noticed the other day that it was restocked and it is this beautiful 
gray sweater and as you can see it's kind of got like a clench on the waist which I love um, it's cardigan it's so cute I think it's adorable so got that in a medium I, I love how I'm doing this but I also have to clean up my closet because the thing about New York is you can only keep things that you're like if you haven't worn it in the past few months it's got to go like there's no point in hoarding it so anytime I have like pick something out for something and I don't end up wearing it I'm like okay that's time for that one to go I picked out this sweater just because of the reviews the reviews about this sweater were so good oh my god my chair yeah, everybody has that chair. This is currently my chair. Um, I have no excuse. I love how dramatic, and this is so cute. The cuff, the cuff. Oh, I love the neck. Yes, cute. I don't need another gray sweater, but I got one. Oh, I didn't realize these are corduroys. Interesting, this looks nothing like the photo. Huh. Did I need another coat? Absolutely not. But there's something about these coats that girlfriend keeps putting out that I just absolutely need to keep purchasing. Or not purchasing, selecting for gifting. So, all my girlfriend denim coats are small, extra small. Or sorry, small, medium. And for this one, I got it in the medium, lar or sorry, the large, extra large. Because I want it to be big. And it actually doesn't even look that big. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm kind of shocked that this is the large extra large because I thought I was getting something like super oversized, but it's not. It actually kind of fits, which is kind of rude. Yeah, cute. I love the color of this. I only have a trench in this color. Cute. I'm going to keep it. It's good like transition coat. I wish it was like a little bit thicker, but whatever. Hello. I haven't updated the vlog. I was just getting over obviously getting sick and all that jazz. So today's Monday. We had a very productive weekend. We actually painted our living room, which was kind of like a spontaneous thing. As you guys know, I wasn't like having problems figuring out what color I wanted to paint it. So we just picked a color. It was between Broccoli Brown by Pharaoh and Ball and then um, Coriander Seed by Benjamin Moore, which is like just a little bit warmer than Broccoli Brown by Pharaoh and Ball, but I didn't know how much paint I'd need, so I ended up going with Benjamin Moore. I'm also intimidated by Pharaoh and Ball paint. I don't know if that's normal. But yeah, we ended up painting the living room. I'll show you that, but let me show you what I'm gonna wear today, because I need to film now that I don't sound as sick. So I'm wearing my silver drop earrings. Um, I'll link like an Amazon similar vibe. That's way cheaper, obviously. Um, I've got this Bottega, or not Bottega, god I wish this was Bottega, no, this is Girlfriend Denim uh, Turtleneck, which I love how exaggerated the neck is, and the sleeves, I have my Below the Belt belt, um, and then my favorite jeans, which are the Margiela jeans, which need to be like stretched out, because I washed them, and... They're just not, they don't fit the same when you freshly wash them. Are you ready to see what we did to our living room? I am so excited. Sorry if you hear Cody in the background. Ignoring this, is, is this not amazing? This is actually showing up a lot greener in person or in the video. That's like very accurate to the color. So it's very similar to the couch, which I love. We're getting a lamp back here. We're gonna get some curtains. We're getting a lamp that has been on back order from CB2 for forever. Yeah. But now I need to figure out like what color I want to paint the hallway because I'm insane. If you think it's crazy to re paint a rental, then I think I feel bad for you, honestly. But um, let me see if I can actually find those paint symbols and I can show you. These are the colors I picked up. Oops, I dropped some. I really like this one. It's kind of like a vibe. What is this? Venetian Portco. Hmm. I also kind of like this really warm color, but I don't think I'd like it with the color of the floors. It might be like too much, but I don't know. Um, and then I also picked up these two colors I just dropped that are more like creams. Ooh, I like 
I don't know actually, they look pretty much the same. Honestly, I should probably just take a chill pill and not paint this. That's just one more thing I would need to paint, but like back to white. Um, plus I kind of like the white background for the Instagram, but I don't know. It just seems kind of random because it's like white color, but we'll see. Welcome to my clusterfuck, which is this closet right now. But I want to share with you guys, I haven't been doing a lot of shopping. So I actually have been doing a lot of shopping. I know that's kind of shocking because I did show you guys like the Revolve haul, but that was gifted product. And um, obviously I love it because I'm wearing it right now. But I have been limiting my purchases because I went a little crazy in this year, especially with Christmas. And I wanted to just like... I mean, I don't really need anything right now, you know, and I need to tame myself because I live in New York City and I don't have like a humongous closet that I can just fill endlessly. Although I like to think I do. This is all stuff that I have to list on Poshmark slash some of it I have to hang up. I want to share with you guys, I did purchase something. This is a vintage Gucci Jackie bag. I mean, you guys know the drill. When I find something that, cause I'm constantly looking for mini Gucci Jackie bags. And when I find one that's like an amazing deal, I'm like, obviously I gotta purchase it. So I bought this one for $225 on Poshmark. Isn't it gorge? I don't have anything like this in my collection. I love the gold hardware. She's stunning. I'm so excited about this. Um, so I'm really excited about it. This is the one that I already own. So now I have three Gucci Jackie bags. I've got, I actually haven't shown this on my YouTube channel either because I haven't posted obviously since I moved here. But this is a giant one that I also got on eBay for a grand, but this one's normally $5,500. You're joking. So I love this one. This is like a great everyday bag for living here. Um, but these are absolutely stunning. So this is one that I got in 2021. And then I got this one um, a few days ago whenever I was sick. I got a package in from Forward. And they have like a bag loan program for influencers, bloggers, people like that. People in fashion to try out bags if they want to. You can buy them um, type situation. And the one that I have now is, it's funny because I swore off Gucci, or not Gucci, I swore off Bottega Mini Jodies and Jodies in general. I think I'm kind of over them. But then I saw this one and I was like, oh, never say never. Is this not adorable? Like the little tie? Do you die? I'm so cute. So, so cute. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I will be styling it. So something that I talked about with my manager this past Tuesday, because I usually have my meetings on Tuesday, is I'm going to get better about sharing like my outfits and everything and doing like styled videos. So I'm going to do that, I think, on TikTok. My brother comes to town this week, so it's not really optimal time because he's going to be staying in this room um, for me to do that this week. But after that, I'm going to do like... I think a series once a month for like an entire week just sharing my outfit of the days because I don't want to do one of those like 30 day challenges just because I know me and that's just a little difficult and I won't stick to it. So I'm going to start easy with the once a month seven day challenges like on my TikTok and stuff and I'll also repurpose them over here on to real or shorts. That's what I've got going on. I just posted a TikTok and it's doing so well. So that's exciting. And I need to start listing this stuff on Poshmark because like I said, my brother is coming to town on Thursday. So I need to get these packages sold and out of here because this is taking up a lot of space and there's not a lot of space in this room. This room is 10 by 14. 10 is very narrow. It sounds really large, but it's not. Um, also, I look like the mom on Santa Claus right now in the first movie with her like little bob. Um, yeah, so I need to get to that. I don't want to. I hate listing on Poshmark, but it's got to be done. And I need to clean this closet. So I'll update you if I have any other updates, but 
as of right now I do not. <laughs> Something that I'm working on is being better about like whenever I post a TikTok or short or anything of that nature real um sharing like my finds that I get from eBay like that I just tossed um like this one. I have found like five very similar ones and I'm currently posting it on my like to know it. So if you don't follow me on my like to know it, you should because I can like share bags that are similar. Obviously they're not as cheap, but, um, and then on my Instagram, I'm always linking like the bags that I personally would buy, but I don't have a need for, you know, like I can't buy every single find I find. Um, so I, do definitely share there and a lot of you guys swoop them up because most of the time they're like really good finds. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's where all the good stuff is. So I think I'm going to, like I said, post on Poshmark for the rest of the day. I'm going to end this vlog I think here because it's a pretty boring um, vlog. But I want to make sure I can get this up before my brother comes to town. So... Welcome to my new life. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back on YouTube and subscribe for more.